Hello, my name is Yonis. This is this tutorial. I'm going to talk about the cPanel. Now, the cPanel is a so online software-based application which allows us to not only upload our website to the server, but also manipulate the server based on our needs. We have the opportunity to develop databases, to customize the databases. We have the ability to add images. We have the ability to create backups, restore backups, and loads of other things that we can actually do throughout our cPanel. Now, my cPanel might look slightly different to your cPanel. It's different, uh, it, different providers providing you with different tools that you can actually apply to the cPanel. Now, I'm going to talk about the most commonly used tools on the cPanel to get you started having your own website. To get started, I'm going to go to the file manager first. I'm just going to talk to you about the file manager. Now, within the file manager structure, we have a number of different folders. Now, the public underscore HTML or the www, either way, will take us to the same folder, is the basically main directory which will allow us to upload our website. Let me demonstrate this to you. I'm just going to go to YouTube and type a web design. I'm going to click on the first option, a web design, and then click on playlists. Then I'm going to click the web design and development playlist. And then I'm going to select the fourth video tutorial. Now, out of all these tutorials, I need the fourth video tutorial. Now, on the fourth video tutorial, on the description section, I have a URL. You click on this URL, you will be able to download the zip folder that I've got available for you. Once the zip folder is downloaded, you can actually select open the location. I'm going to right click, copy this folder and place it into my desktop, onto my desktop. Let's close this. Now I know that this folder is on my desktop. I'm just going to go back to the website, go back to my cPanel, go back to my file manager. So how we reach there, if I click here, back here to the cPanel, we click on the file manager, we double click on the public underscore HTML or www. Okay. Now I'm going to click on the upload option and then I'm going to move this window to the side and then click and drag this folder over to my control panel. So it's going to maximize this window. Alternatively, you can click on the select file that you can actually browse the, um, the zip folder, folder that way. So now I've done the download is finished. I can close this window now and I need to reload this page. Now I have reloaded this page. I can see my zip folder. I'm going to select the zip folder, I just upload it, right click and select extract. Click extract and click close. Now, I'm no longer is needed. This zip folder we don't really need anymore. I'm going to click delete and confirm. Now, all the files I have are within my website folder. So I'm going to double click here. I'm going to click the first folder, hold the shift key down on my keyboard and click on the bottom file, on the last file, to highlight all the files. Let me do this again. I'm going to select the first option, I'm going to hold the shift key down on my keyboard and then click on the last option here which is the portfolio.html. Now I'm going to right click and select move, the move option. Then I'm just going to remove my website, the name that says my website. So that's my website directory, the folder basically. I'm going to delete that because I want to move all these files into my main directory, which is the public underscore HTML. I'm going to select move. And now this directory now is empty. And if I go back, I will be able to see all the files here. Now this folder called my website is no longer needed because it's empty. I'm going to click on the delete option and then click confirm. All right. 
if by accident you deleted something and you want to bring it back you can always go to the trash and then right click and then select restore okay this is another great tool the cPanel provides you with so let's go back to the home tab and then double click on the public underscore HTML now if I go back to the main cPanel I could actually go to the main cPanel by actually clicking on the cPanel here as well but I've got a new window here now on the top right corner I will be able to see the primary domain I'm going to highlight my primary domain copy it and then go here and paste it so or open a new tab and paste it press the enter key and you will be able to see the website that we just uploaded now by doing this I can manipulate this website the way I want to I can go back to the cPanel select the index page index.html right click and select edit click edit and now we'll be able to see the HTML code now if I hold the control key down and use the wheel on my mouse I will be able to zoom in or zoom out or I could use the control plus or control minus now if I go further down I've got here a number of different links so I could customize these links based on what I want to do if I would like to introduce a new link I can highlight the LI tag so this uh, line of code I can right click select copy then press the enter key after the LI closing tag and then right click select paste I'm going to change that this link to something else so let's say for instance portfolio and I'm just going to change that to portfolio I'm going to click save now if I go back to the website and refresh the page I will be able to see that I've got a new link here called portfolio however if I click on it I don't have a portfolio ah, in fact I do have a portfolio page so let's go back okay I do have a portfolio page okay that's good now if I wanted to add another link let's say I want to uh, copy this uh, HTML page and then in fact no I'm gonna right click select the portfolio page select edit so I'm gonna repeat this I'm gonna right click on my portfolio page and select edit click edit now I'm going to control A to highlight the full code right click and select copy now I'm going to close this window and then I'm going to go to the top left corner it says file new file I'm just going to call this new file test.html select create and right click on the test.html select edit select edit again right click select paste now this file is called test and I'm just gonna call this my website test now this page could be called anything you like I'm gonna highlight this right click copy I'm gonna click here press enter right click control V or right click and paste and I'm just going to call this test and I'm going to call this test and the rest of the stuff here yeah, call this test as well okay so I'm going to click save I'm going to go here and then I'm going to refresh the page now the menu test is not my portfolio HTML so I'm just going to go back to here highlight oops that one here let's scroll I'm going to highlight the test URL that I put here copy I'm going to go back to here which is the portfolio page press the enter key right click and select paste now because this 
this page is the yeah is the home page okay so I'm gonna go to save click portfolio now my portfolio I do not have the home page link I'm gonna go here in fact I go there right click on my portfolio select edit select edit again go here and add a new URL I'm gonna copy this press the enter key right click paste and I'm gonna type here index so the home page is called the index page index.html and for the title I'm just gonna put home click save go back to the portfolio page it's the here if I refresh the page now I will have a new link the home link so I click on it now because I click on the home link I've got a different menu now called portfolio and then I've got the test so if I click on the test page now it will take me to the test page now the test page I don't really need the test link because I'm already on the test page so if I click on the test page here it's not good so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna find let's close these links here I'm just gonna go back here to the file manager I'm gonna right click on the test.html select edit select edit and I'm going to remove the test link. However, I don't have the home page link, so I'm just going to replace that to home. So index is the home page, and I'm just going to type here home. Click save, and I'm going to go back here to the website. Click on the refresh the page here, and as you can see here, the test is replaced by home. I can go home. I don't have the home tab here because I'm already on the home page if I click on the test it takes me to a test page if I go back home I click on portfolio it takes me to a portfolio page now on the portfolio page I don't really need the portfolio link so what I can do I can go back here let's close that I'm gonna right click on the portfolio page select edit select edit again and then change or delete the portfolio link now white spaces doesn't mean anything in HTML so it will be just fine click Save click there refresh the page and we don't have the portfolio link here so this is how you can actually create the navigation as you can see here I've got portfolio twice this is on the index page if I go back here right click on the index page which is the home page select edit select edit again and as you can see here I've got portfolio there I've got portfolio there so I'm just going to delete one of the portfolios now I've mentioned before the white spaces doesn't mean anything but it's good practice to basically keep things in the same line so it's, it's easier for you to find them find what you want to change later on easily and quickly I'm just going to click save and go here to the website and refresh the page okay this is one of the things uh, that you can actually do by using the cPanel you can customize the pages you can upload the web pages let's go back now to the cPanel to find out what all the things we can actually do as you can see here we can actually select backup we can create FTP accounts now FTP account is stands, FTP stands for file transfer protocol so if I create an FTP account I will be able to provide somebody else with the login details who will be able to uh, upload files and delete files so if we go further down I will be able to see that I've got PHP my admin now PHP my admin is a tool used to manipulate a database to create a database you need to use MySQL database link here or you can follow the wizard to do so I'm going to create another video tutorial on this if I scroll further down I can actually go to email accounts and I can create a new email account by creating an email account I will be able to actually send and receive emails so I could actually put here uh, info at alphawebdesign.com I'm just gonna make up a password and I'm just gonna make another password yeah. copy that password again and I can set up all limited or I can specify the limit of my email box 
So I'm just going to click, click unlimited and then select create. Now the email account has been created, which means that I could actually go here now, type the URL and type webmail dot offer webdesign.com. Now, as you can see here, I have a warning because it's taking me to a secure page. However, this website doesn't have a certificate, an SSL certificate. Okay, before I proceed with this, let's go back to the cPanel. Let's click here. Now, one of the most powerful things that we can do nowadays, which doesn't cost any money, is use the Let's Encrypt SSL option. If I click on Let's Encrypt and select Issue, and let's select the cPanel as well, and select Issue. Now, Let's Encrypt will give us an SSL certificate, and by having the SSL certificate, this page will become, be, become safe. It will, it's only going to take a few seconds for the SSL certificate to be generated. As you can see, the SSL certificate has been generated for me. That's great. If I go here now and select refresh, I'm just I'm not going to select any of these options. I'm just going to click refresh and let's do it again. Okay, let's do it again. Right, let's go to HTTP S column forward slash forward slash and I will say uh, alpha web design as you can see here because I've got the SSL certificate I will be able to see the little green padlock now if I change that after the HTTPS I'm just going to put webmail dot oops dot Alpha web design. As you can see, the padlock is there now. I don't receive any more warnings. So if I put my email address, info at webdesign.com, I'm going to put my password. I will be able to see the account that they have just created. Now, I could actually create, compose a new email. I'm just going to send an email to myself. So info at alpha design.com test test email. Send. Go to the inbox. As you can see, I have now received the test email. Now that's how you create emails by using uh, SSL. This is how you create create an SSL certificate by using Let's Encrypt. And I think that's it. Uh, that's the only thing I could actually uh, show you so far. Obviously, you have within the cPanel, uh, you have a number of different tools that you can actually install, like WordPress, Magenta, PHPBB, Trivial, um, Joomla, etc., etc. Anyway, I hope you've learned something new today. I hope you use these skills to develop your own websites and publish your own websites on the web. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.